Oh, he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I think a lot of supporters will think different. Of, but yeah. he's never met him in person, you know what I mean? But, That's um, maybe the key point, isn't it? I mean, what Joe's referring to there is a comment you made about when you were asked a question mm-hmm. earlier today about the, the meal that you all went out and had as a, as a squad and Mike Ashley was part of that and I guess you can just take someone as you find him. Was that the first time you'd, you'd met him? It's the first time I've met him. You know, I'm not, I'm not putting aside anybody's feelings or anybody's frustration towards you know, the, the club or Mike or anything like that. Um, I got asked a question, when you met him, how did you find him? And you know, at the dinner, I was sat around with, a, with, with some teammates and a few staff members and you know, we just had a meal and man to man, you know, we had we had a bit of a laugh and, you know, we didn't talk about anything to do the club or anything. It was simply just on a on a personal level. So um you know, we didn't get into anything too too deep and, you know, at the same time I'm not putting aside um anybody's feelings. I mean, well you kinda of do know what's going on and uh, as players it's something you don't really like to like to know much about or, you know, like to see. We we just want we would we'd love the fans to turn up to the games as happy as anything and you know, just enjoy the games like they have done for many years. But at the same time, I understand why why people will be frustrated. Um, but you know, all, all I can say is, as players, is we just know how we, how important and and how and how amazing it is when all the fans are behind us and and the players. And you know, it makes such a massive difference. You know, we're the ones that have got to go get the results, and we've we're the ones that have got to do that. And um, but like I've said before, other other players and. On the opposition team, will even say themselves. St James's Park is such a, it's such a hard, hard, uh, hard stadium to play at, and it's because of the fans. So you know, the, they've done they've done such a great job, and uh, you know, we we do we do hear all, all of that. You know, in terms of me saying he's a nice guy, I got asked a question: How was the meeting? And I thought, uh, sorry, the meal. I'm sat down with a meal um, with, with a bloke, and you know, having food, and you know, we had a little chat, and you know, he came across as a nice person. Uh, does, could I, could does, I just say? Doesn't go to say that, you know, I'm not excusing everybody's feelings and what everybody thinks. Yeah, can I just say, Jamal, I, I think, you know, obviously you've, you've sat down once with him, but you've been here for four years and that, is that the first time you've ever met him? That's is that f- the first time? That's the first time I've met him, yeah. That, that's that's dreadful. And he, he he owns a football club and you've met him once. I, and you're the captain. I, I, just, I, I just think when, when you look back at that fantastic chairman, what's happened um, with a guy from Leicester, and fantastic chairman, you wait see the way he's running his club mm. and how much their fans were, were so okay. sad to see him go. You know, and it, I'm not saying anything. You've, you've made, made well, yeah, you've made your point, Robert. Thank you very much indeed um, for coming on this evening.